You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. With our heroes now left battling in hell against a seemingly unstoppable Janemba, the time has now finally come for the introduction of Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4. What is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another Super Dragon Ball Heroes Big Bang Mission Anime Episode Review. We are finally at long last for the last two months we've been hearing about this Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 power and now it's finally here in animated format and man, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, great concepts, great ideas horrible piss poor execution and i'm gonna explain why as of course we carry on during the course of this review but if of course you guys are new hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you guys simply love and enjoy dragon ball because this was something that really piqued my interest only because i was so curious to see what all of this was going to lead into or at least having xeno goku and xeno vegeta kind of be pushed into unlocking this power but instead the opposite happened, which I'm really not too angry about, I would say, but it was just done in such a weird way that at this point, I mean, why even bother, right? So, the episode kicks off in hell with Salsa and Putin now having to arrive, and it's weird because in the manga, Salsa and Putin are a part of Mechikaburo's kind of like little army, I would say, and from the get-go, I immediately noticed how the episode did look clean. It really did. And we see how Capsule Corp Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Trunks, the other Super Saiyan 4 Warriors, they step forward and they all begin to talk, right? So it's interesting because Trunks is kind of aware as to who they are. And in a way, I'm really not a fan of this only because I hate seeing the good guys and the kind of bad guys, you know, work together to fight off a commonly even greater bad guy or whatever. So what's interesting is they showcase, I'm assuming what is, the future timeline or a city, right? They showcase a city and all of the life energy is being taken from it because of Fuse plans to create a new universe and whatnot. So they're showcasing all of this to Trunks, Goku, Vegeta, and I said to myself, where the hell is Janemba through all of this, right? Like, why is he allowing them to just simply watch this until he comes charging on in? So Trunks goes Super Saiyan God and he immediately is the first person to do something against Janemba. He fires off some key blasts, it really doesn't work, and Janemba, he attacks everybody, and this is why I keep saying the concept idea works, because they brought back Janemba, and he was ruthless. He ends up kneeing Vegeta in the stomach, Vegeta kind of stumbles on back, then we see how Janemba is using the warp abilities to elbow Goku in the face. He was really cool, and then he winds up opening four different portals to attack everybody with using his tail, his legs, his elbows. It is so cool to see Janemba back. Despite how you want to feel about his redesign, the overall concept of what Janemba is is pretty dope. So to see everyone fight him kind of reminded me of the time when Hearts fought everybody by himself. And as soon as we get to see how Salsa and Putin kind of told the Xeno characters that they're going to need more power, everyone starts to, you know, kind of dispute and kind of have little miniature arguments on what to do. They're trying to strategize, and that's when the plan is formed that they all need to give the Xeno characters the energy they need in order to break their limits. So, of course, everyone agrees. God Trunks agrees. The two Super Saiyan Blues agree. Pan agrees. And they all gather around. And again, this reminded me so much of the Saiyan ritual. They gathered around and they gave the Xeno characters their energy, or at least they allowed them to transcend their current power levels into breaking their limits. All the while, Salsa and Putin are basically trying to do what they can to hold Janemba back at bay, right? So it was kind of weird at the same time because Salsa and Putin, they were trying to attack Janemba and they literally missed all of their attacks. It's weird because Janemba scales above everybody here, which again, the power scaling is completely bonkers, but either way, hopefully someone will actually do a, a power scaling videos on heroes. And when going back to the Xeno characters, they immediately begin to notice how their bodies are beginning to change, their auras are glowing, and they're emanating, right? And Janemba sees this. Janemba looks down and he sees 
that the two Xeno characters are beginning to just skyrocket in power. And I, I kind of like this only because the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 concept and form, or power, or whatever it is you want to call it, it looks cool. It really, really, really looks cool. It was also kind of weird because as soon as they powered up, the entire landscape once again changed. And now we're actually going back to the original, I would say, hell setting because everything is red, everything is black, Dr. W is in shock, and the Xeno Super Saiyan 4 characters, they kind of give their little one-off speech, they kind of tell Janemba that it's over, and I really enjoy the overall narrative of what they were trying to do with this, but as soon as we get to see how Janemba is trying to do something about this, the Xeno characters effortlessly wind up putting him down in literally two shots, right? So. Does this mean that Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 scales beyond anything we've seen from the Capsule Corp characters or, I mean, what's the deal here? Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan 4 weren't enough, but either way, Janemba tries to attack them and they just skyrocket on up. So the way this all kind of came about to see how Goku simply clinched his fist and Janemba's flying back, mind you, and to see Vegeta also do the same thing, they effortlessly just put their fists together and they created the double super dragon fist i i will admit the double super dragon fist looks really fire it's not just one it's two giant golden dragons so they wind up going right through janemba janemba explodes into a bajillion pieces he's dead the reason why this sucked is because they literally introduced limit breaker xeno super saiyan 4 so quick and as quickly as they came in they took them out that was so corny because I was expecting more. All they really did was they gave Janemba the knee, they double axe handled him down, and then they gave him the double super dragon fist. So that was literally it. All of that hype was just for at least, I would say, 15 to 20 seconds of action. That was trash. That was so bad only because what the heck was the point, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was cool, but at the same time, it just looked so weird only because of the overall narrative and direction of what they were doing. Now, towards the end, this is where things begin to get very, very interesting. Now, we get to see how there is a jailed character who's sitting there, he's shackled, he looks like he's in prison, in the same prison that Cumber was in. And it turns out that it's none other than Hearts. Hearts is back. For anyone out there who was wondering, Hearts is in fact back, and I really wonder how they're going to do this because didn't Hearts actually proclaim that he wanted to simply help the mortals, right? And he doesn't have his stupid glasses, he doesn't have that stupid, you know, Ellen DeGeneres haircut, his hair is kind of down, he has like this really cool prison outfit, so now I'm beginning to wonder what the heck is Hearts going to do going forward towards the end of this because it looks like we're going back in one giant circle and Hearts is going to be the upcoming enemy following Black Janemba. But by the end of all of this, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about Super Dragon Ball Heroes Big Bang Mission episode number 6, and if you guys enjoyed this episode a lot more than the previous episodes prior to this, because I will say, this episode along with episode 5 were probably the best within the Big Bang Mission kind of like series that they got going on here, so it really isn't that much to say because again, they have great concepts and they have great ideas, but the execution was just so bad in a sense to where it just feels like they don't care and I understand that Super Dragon Ball Heroes the promotional anime is supposed to be a gateway for the video game and for the video game to sell more units and to just get hype to just get more hype surrounding the video game more than anything else and it really goes as far as to show because the overall concepts and the ideas presented in Heroes have tremendous potential to go far but when it's used up in Heroes I feel as if you can't really go back and apply these same ideas onto Dragon Ball Super because it just wouldn't work, right? For example, bringing back Janemba, giving Goku and Vegeta somewhat of these limit buster powers, you know what I'm saying? So, and it also felt a little forced because it reminded me so much of the Super Saiyan God ritual in a way, so it's like, what's the point, right? And nowadays, you can just gather around someone and just give them your energy, and the next thing you know, they're gonna be multiversal level, and they're gonna be able to take down essentially anybody. So, out of all six episodes in the Big Bang Mission series, I did enjoy this episode just as much as I did episode five, but I would say, for me, 
When they introduced Cumber and they had the whole thing going on with Cumber, Gogeta, Jiren, and Hit battle against Hearts, those were my favorite episodes, but so far, I don't know what they're doing, I don't know where they're going in in terms of direction, but hopefully we go into a much progressive direction going forward because I want to see something sprout from this that's going to have somewhat of meaningful value going forward, but until then, we're going to have to wait and see. So again, thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for watching. This episode, again, just my opinion, it was the better episode among the six, but going forward, hopefully enough, they step it up because I think a lot of people at this point are hoping for them to do so even though it is heroes we're gonna have to wait and see what happens so again thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for your time if of course you guys enjoyed hit this video up with a big thumbs up slap that like button down below also guys hit that subscribe button check out my vlog channel my other secondary channels all those links will be located down in the description box below tune back in for more and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below take care everybody and have a great day Peace. And a quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below, so be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, G3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck, Zarbon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I am the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k <-k> <laughs>